Hello guys, this is Al from Opeso channel, welcome, this is a new episode on how to, today we're going to install webtop on docker, don't forget to like and share the videos, don't forget to subscribe if you're not, and don't forget also to click on the bell icon so you get notified, again guys, all the information in the description below, we're going to install this on docker, so webtop is a linux environment in a browser, very simple to install, as you will see in a minute again again all the information guys in the description below where you can find links for the github and the linux server webtop page all right also i'll give you the already created stack for portainer that will be on my github as well on the gist okay so if you need more information how to solve this just have a look at the description here we go we got the linux server io this is the as i said web top linux environment again all the information you can do it as uh, you know straightforward really i mean you don't have to use a uh, portainer if you don't want to but i like to use a portainer just in case you want to save as well the stack all right there are different versions that you can actually install it you know uh, but we got to install the default one and is this one here all right that is the alpine xfce desktop environment so as you can see here this is my gist on github all you got to do really is copy and paste this is the version that i'm using again change the puid as it, you need logically it won't be the same as mine uh, the same full is on the docker.com on the hub as you can see here again you will find the links this is my portainer and what i'm going to do now i'm going to add the stack well i'm going to name the stack web top and i'm going to paste the content of my gist as you can see here some of the environment you can change it for example the shm size file to one gig you can change that if you want again guys make sure you change the puid and pgid to your uh, user all right the time zone is europe london the volumes i'm leaving as they are here again feel free to change it if you need to change it for more information on portainer you can actually look some of my old tutorials all i'm going to do now i'm going to just deploy the stack and wait until it's been done and to be honest that's all it's all about it's very simple and fast to deploy i want to stress this is just the installation and show you how this um, web you know interface works i'm not going too much in details if you need more information let me know and make a new tutorial and again guys make sure the actual server is pretty fast because it's very memory high and cpu intensive also make sure that the if you use it for example on a desktop or uh, you have a good graphic card as well all right it should be long and as you can see the stack has been successfully deployed we go to the containers and as you can see on top we got web top let's have a look at the usage the uh, information about the actual container or you want to call it statistics and as you can see it's up and running and has been uh, adjourned with all the information let's go to the web top again here you can actually have a look at the logs the stats inspect it if you inspect it it's up to you how you want to do it and as you can see it's up and running and it's listening on port 3000 again guys make sure you change the port if you're already using that port i'm going to click on the link here and should open a new tab with the guacamole client and as you can see it's one two seven three thousand the port is three thousand again and now it's loading the actual GUI all right of the environment because I'm recording a very low frames per second it does look is slow it is also slow but because also the, the way I record you get this kind of, of you know uh, slow motion and it looks like it's really quite slow slower than it's supposed to be anyway guys this is what it is as you can see it's done you can have it at full screen if you want to if you want to look like you got a full working environment and everything application cd-rom usb file system everything works as a normal desktop all right guys so thanks again for joining me for this small tutorial i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did showing you about this desktop don't forget to like and share my videos don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notified every time i make a new video i'm gonna see you next time for my new tutorial hopefully in a couple of weeks bye